This week, the AI boom continued to drive the S&P 500 to record levels. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 100% of the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. All in today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,431.60, up 1.6% from last week. The P/E ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 28.20, up 0.31 points since last week. Here are your gainers. Nvidia is up another 270.4 billion, or 9.1%, basically the market cap of AMD, as the stock is in a melt-up of epic proportions. We've entered into euphoria territory. Apple up. 239.2 billion or 7.9% joining the AI bandwagon after unveiling Apple intelligence as part of their AI strategy. Broadcom is up 152.2 billion or 23.3% after announcing a better than expected guidance for the remainder of the year on top of their 10 for 1 stock split. Microsoft is up 139.1 billion or 4.4% on no specific news. Oracle is up 33.4 billion or 9.6% as the company announced a partnership with OpenAI and Google Cloud. Moving to your losers. Berkshire Hathaway down 18 billion or 2% on no specific news. JP Morgan down 17.7 billion or 3.1% on no specific news as well. Visa is down 16.2 billion or 2.9% as the judge overseeing the proposed 30 billion settlement with merchant in the US was about to reject the deal. Exxon is down 16.2 billion or 3. 2% on no specific news. AMD is down 13.3 billion or 4.9% as investors seem to shift their funds to competitor Nvidia. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. So what should you look out for next week? Investors should be aware that we're in the late stage of the AI bubble. Over the next weeks, Nvidia will pass Microsoft and Apple to become the largest company in the world because people are discussing 5 trillion market cap estimates. The bull case underestimates two things. Number one, the chips business is very cyclical, but analysts predict a forever expanding market for the firm. And number two, TSMC and other Nvidia suppliers will never increase prices on the company, even if they have publicly announced their intention to do so. Both assumptions are wrong in a business perspective, and investors will be severely disappointed once the market corrects itself. Four companies will release earnings during the week ending June 21st, 2024, and the most interesting will be Accenture. On June 20th at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $3.17 EPS on $16.58 billion of revenue for their Q3 2024 results. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for our weekly updates. To find out why Nvidia was up last week, you should watch this video next.